Uh, lovely to meet you. Congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, so this is quite a different role for you. Um, we've seen you in Paddington. We've seen you in a lot of happier movies. What's it like playing a movie where you you get to show your dark side a little bit more? Oh well, it's fun to uh, you know when you get to the tender age of 58 and the, a director like Babak says, actually, let's see what else you can do. So that was a real treat for me. Uh, uh, I've loved I've loved all the characters I've played along the way, but to uh, play someone who's just you know got a, a, a perhaps some. Um, uh, slightly different takes on life is, uh, was, was a real treat, real reward. And um, tell me a little bit more about your character. Is he a bit of a baddie, but does he have any redeemable qualities, anything that the audience can associate with? Oh, I think so. I think they'll recognise in Sir Hector Blake, a man of great integrity and honour. Uh, he's been a pillar of the establishment, and like all pillars of the establishment, there's absolutely nothing to hide. You know, he's, um, you know, <laughs> aside from that, uh, you know, he's been a champion of the underdog in his legal career, but uh, woe betide you if you um, cross him or um, break into his house. And this film seems like a, a very good commentary on the way the world is at the moment. Do you think there's any key takeaways people can take from this film? I think it's uh, all, all films seem to resonate in a different way when they, you know, from when they're made to when they open. And uh, this is landing at a time when we are about to enter a hideous, uh, I think, in winter of discontent, disruption, and uh, many, many months, if not years, of recession and pain and agony. And there are voices in our country screaming to be heard, and they feel they feel like they're not being heard. And that actually is a sort of theme of the film, coincidentally. Um, you know, we have a we're about to have an election uh, of. A, of, a, uh, of a, a new leader by 150,000 people. We're in a democracy, aren't we really? I don't know, I don't know what the solution is, but this is the system we have, and it feels very strange that there be, you know, the uh, our, uh, running candidates are bickering about uh, you know, everything apart from what's really the juggernaut that's coming down the road. And uh, I really hope that as soon as one of them gets in power, they address this hideous crisis that's about to unfold. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's all going to be sunlit uplands, but I have a horrible feeling we're in for a really rubbish winter. And what would you say to the youth of today? They might be feeling a little bit similar to the characters in the movie, disaffected. Do, is there any hope for them for things to change in the future? I think so. I hope so. I mean, I do hope that the... You know, I'm a firm believer that the only way to change society is from within, is to be a part of society, is to make a difference in your community, uh, is to you know, use your vote. Don't say, oh, it doesn't make any difference. It does. People have uh, lost their lives to maintain the vote. And um, uh, I really hope that people, you know, will, young people will continue to engage. I have great faith in, in young people. My generation has failed uh, in many, many ways. It's made some good changes, but we are in, in crisis mode. And I, I think we have to look to the young and the initiative of younger people to uh, give us a, a brighter future. It's there, it's possible, it's not all doom and gloom. There are amazing initiatives amongst young people around the world to do with everything from uh, you know, social cohesion to uh, you know, trying to save the flipping planet that we're mucking up. Um, uh, so I've got, I've got glimmers of hope and, and confidence in the young and um, you know, I think, uh, I think there's, you know, there, there, there are green shoots of hope somewhere but it's going to be a bumpy ride, let's face it. Okay, and what's next for you? Are you going to go for more of these sim similar roles, or for, like showing the different side of yourself, or what would you think is going to happen next? Oh God, who knows? I'm just looking forward to the next job. Um, every actor would love to do something completely different, but um, uh, and this was a, just a you know a, a lovely surprise that came out of the blue. Um, we'll uh, maybe there'll be some more adventures with a small bear. I don't know.